Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga, I'm Ali and today we're doing a beginner coffee cup class. It is going to be for advanced beginners or experienced beginners, a beginner that has gone through the found foundational poses. It is going to be on the schedules on my website. I have a brand new schedule right now which is beginner schedule and we're into we uh, month two and a half maybe going towards month three of beginner schedules so if you're a complete beginner join me on my website and go through the first few months with the beginner schedule classes and now we're at the level where we're doing beginner coffee cups they're still very beginner an advanced person can do them on their light day it is your coffee cup where it's all in one it's strength building and flexibility building and breath awareness a little bit of everything and i vary it in each and every class so they never repeat each other and um, today's class is going to be called since we're doing the coffee theme the coffee cup schedules it's called nitro coffee cup very smooth <laughs> and somewhat strong all right remember to flow with strength Anies, and for the rest of the schedules, the programs and the classes, come to my website. Starting at the front of the mat, and I want you to roll your arms backwards in a very natural way. So tune into the movement, don't force it, don't go into areas that are achy or painful just feel it experience the move and tune into the move as i like to say really tune in feel it and bring the belly in as you bring the belly in you're pulling everything in towards the midline the tva and you're pulling mula bandha the pelvic floor up the kegel muscles Great, and now I want you to reach side to side. Again, you're warming up your obliques, you're warming up the back muscles with the movement of the hands. Feel the back muscles. You're using the back, the shoulders. You're stretching the obliques, bringing circulation everywhere. I'm giving you stuff from the more advanced classes, warm-ups from the more advanced classes because it really helps to feel your body when you move in non-square ways when you bring fluidity and awareness into the movement it will get more fun and more fun at the beginner classes as we kind of get the basics which i think the first month was the basics and it was enough basics and now we can just explore branch out great so step wide outside of the mat or along the length of the mat and let's bring side lunge not very deep we're still warming up and a push with the opposite hand and just push your hips back again warming up the legs the core the obliques inner thighs booty Feel the back muscles as well. All right, vacuum time, stomach vacuum. Hands onto your thighs. And as you exhale, mula bandha in, hollow the belly. Drawing everything in towards the spine. One more. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Step at the front, inhale. Reach up 
lengthen, clasp your hands, let's reach over towards the right, press your left foot down, look up, back up opposite side, really lengthening equally on the left and the right side and pressing the feet down or allowing them to ground down, back up, exhale, dive. Inhale, you can have your knees slightly bent, straight back, pull the belly in, look ahead, plank, if you can do full plank, do full plank, otherwise knees on the ground, and again, really pull the belly in, really feel the strength of the shoulders, if your knees are off the ground, push your heels away from you and feel the strength of your body. And you can lower down onto your belly. Inhale, cobra, elbows squeezing in, do not straighten the arms. And exhale, down dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, come up, high lunge, open the arms out, twist to the right, drop the hands down and look back, really lengthening and twisting, imagine a tree that is binding or a vine that's binding or a tree that has that flexibility when it's young. Inhale over the head and reach with the hips steady and square. Reach slightly over to the right, really elongating both sides again. Great. Exhale down, vinyasa of your choice. So you can do chaturanga on the knees, not on the knees. Abdok or cobra. Option of second chaturanga from the knees maybe. And down dog. Let's take the left leg up, high lunge, open the arms out, twist, drop the hands down, look over the left shoulder and really soften into the move, feel the move. Reaching over the head, press the heel away from you. Steady the hips, square. Square them and, and reach over to the left, keeping the hips level. Really feel the elongation here. Great, exhale down. Plank. Again, vinyasa of your choice. The second chaturanga is an opportunity from the knees to strengthen the upper body. Down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through. High lunge. And you're gonna turn again to the right and drop the right hand only down the left leg. Lift the left arm up. Another twist, another elongation. Which makes you taller because we're almost adjusting everything so that the quirks unwind and we create space between the vertebrae. Great. Here we're going to exhale only the left hand down. Take the right arm up. Roll onto the outer edges of the feet and take a side plank. 
you can have your right foot in front of you. Whenever you're ready, you can stack your feet on top of each other. It may take you months. So don't rush it. Whichever one you do, really connect to the move, hips on top of each other, the shoulder over the wrist. Spread the fingers wide open and really feel the strength of your body. And vinyas. Down dog. <sighs> Inhale the left leg up. Step it through, high lunge. Again, open to the left, drop the left hand down, right arm up, look up and really move your consciousness into, into the feel of the move. Just bring your awareness of the subtlety is the beauty of the move, how you experience the move in your body, where your resistance lies, where you can surrender. And exhale, right hand down, turn onto the other edges of the feet, take the left arm up and side plank. You can put a little bit of weight onto the front foot and that allows you to build your strength over time, slowly. Let's take plank. And push back in down dog. We're going to bend the knees and drop them just a few inches off the floor. Take the right knee in, tuck it in, press it up as a booty lift and push back in, in one legged down dog. And again, same thing, knee tuck, heel lift, Push back, knee tuck, squeeze the belly as hard as you can. Squeeze the booty. And again, three, push back, four, five. And step the right foot through, drop the back heel down, warrior one. Feel the alignment of the hips and surrender to the rest of the body, how the heels align, how the thighs, how everything builds around it. Hands over the heart and we're gonna lean forward, shift forward onto the right leg. Warrior three, take the left leg parallel to the floor, level the hips, breathe. Come up to standing and bring your foot into your thigh. Three pose. Take a moment, pause. Experience the balance, the central axis of the body. Great. Step it back, plank. Push back, down dog. Take the left leg up, drop the knees down, squeeze the knee in, press the heel up, push back, down dog. One, two, three, 
four, five, step it through, drop the back heel down, warrior, one, breathe, hands over the heart, lean forward, shift, To warrior three and come up to standing foot into the upper thigh or you can put the foot on the calf and just take a moment here come back to your breath focus on the breath you can always hold on to a wall if you have to Great, and step it back, plank. Here we're going to bring the right knee into the right elbow, left to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and chaturanga. Up dog, chaturanga, down dog, breathe, nice deep breath into the belly, inhale the right leg up, Step it through. Keep your left hand down. Take the right arm up here in a lunge with a twist. And you can reach over the head. And as you reach over the head, push the right hip back. So there is a lot of length between the fingertips and the hip joint. Elongating the obliques. Great. Vinyasa. Plank, knee chaturanga, maybe up dog, maybe another knee chaturanga, opposite side. Take the left leg up, step it through, keep the right hand down, take the left arm up, keep the back heel straight up, and push, bring your weight onto your legs, reach over the head. Elongate, push the hip back. Great. And press it back. Plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Child's pose. Sitting on your heels. Down dog, tuck your toes under, push your hips as high as you can, inhale the right leg up, step it through, straight back, come up, high lunge, we're gonna bring the hands onto the hips and we're gonna try to keep the right leg bent to a degree and step the left knee in and back, one, two, open the chest, Pull the belly in, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and vinyas. Have your choice. Take the left leg up, step it through, straight back, come up, high lunge. 
And again, feel your hips in the pose. Feel the heel, feel the strength. Feel the foundation of the pose. Feet, legs, hips, core. Hands on the hips. Step in, squeeze the muscles, the booty, the quadriceps. One, two, open chest. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And exhale into plank. We're going to bring the right knee to the left elbow and left knee to the right across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push back in down dog and take the right leg up. Step it through and prepare for warrior two here bring the back heel down and open the hips towards the side wall warrior two make sure that your knee is directed forward left hip opening soften the gaze soften the arms feel the strength of the legs the foundation pelvic floor feet spread the toes and let's walk the left hand down the left leg right arm up straighten the right knee coming out we're gonna reach way ahead of us and lower the hand down onto the shin bone for triangle pose I have two triangle vinyasas that are very simple and beginner we'll keep touching upon them you can completely simplify triangle so that you feel strength in the pose. The feet are grab, grab, grabbing the mat. Great. And exhale down into plank, into chaturanga, or you can go into cobra, up dog, down dog. And here you can wiggle the hips a little. Take the left leg up, step it through, open the hips towards the side, warrior two. Breathe, Mula Bandha, feel the knee opening. Alignment, arches of the feet lifting. Reverse it. Right hand down the right leg and really elongating to the left side. And now we're gonna straighten the knee and reach further up. And then reach way ahead of us. Really elongating both sides. Drop the hand down somewhere on the shin bone or above the knee. Don't push on the knee and you can keep a micro bend in the knees for protection. Hold here in a triangle pose. Feel the strength of your core. Great. Come up. Standing. Take the width of your mat. Reach in front of you and we're going to keep the arms parallel to each other parallel to the floor, sorry, they will be parallel to each other and working on the shoulders, we're gonna do side lunge, come up, side lunge, come up, one, two, push the hips as far back as you can, keep the core in, four, five, six, seven, really push the hips back, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 
18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. You have time to perfect it. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And the world's most boring pose. I think no one wants to do this one. Chair squat. I want to sneak it into the class because it does build your joints and legs strong. Press your lower back into the, into the wall. So no gap, pull the belly in and you can go deeper and deeper into the squat as if you're sitting literally on a chair, something supporting you under. Make sure that your heels are either in front of or under the knees, not too close to you. So the basically the angle here, the knee angle is 90 degrees or so. Touch your quads, they're working, they should be firm. I'll try to sneak it in a little more often this pose so that you really build those legs strong. This is almost, not almost, this is a physical therapy pose that builds strength in a very safe way. little longer you can go a little deeper if you have room to come out push your hands into the wall and come up coming up to standing reach over the head you're going to take the right hand out and back and drop it onto the left leg maybe on the outside of the left leg look up and there is a Again, that vining quality reach through the left fingertips, soften the shoulders. Spread the toes open, pull the belly in, surrender. Beautiful. Opposite sides. Great. Shift your weight onto the right leg. We're gonna take a cross back lunge, knee tuck, cross back lunge, knee tuck. Now you can have your hands forward again if you wanna work on the shoulders, focus. Push the hips and knees back, three, push back, four, five, Six, seven, squeeze the belly in, eight, nine, ten, opposite side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, really push the hips back, nine, ten, and a few figure eights with the hips. So imagine you're drawing a figure eight with the hip, a little bit of fluid movement here, feeling the body tuning in, creating flexibility by working on the fascia. Flexibility even of the, how we relate to the body. We get out of the square pattern move. And you can reverse the movement. So now brain exercise too.
and squat alignment hands in front of you relax the shoulders strengthen the back we're gonna go into squat so push the hips back you can just go into a mini squat halfway down or a quarter down pushing the hips back and knee up squat opposite knee up alternating one two belly in really squeeze it in three four five six seven eight nine ten push the hips back one two three four five six seven eight nine ten great inhale reach over the head arch in a back bend dive down you can keep the knees slightly bent inhale look ahead plank chaturanga up dog maybe chaturanga down dog take the right leg up step it through open the left foot for a warrior two and this time we're gonna go into side angle reaching over the head if you have the flexibility to bring the hand down you can do that or keep the elbow on the thigh really elongate here look up push into the outer edge of the left foot beautiful vinyasa down dog left leg step it through drop the back heel down warrior two press into the other edge of the back foot lift the arches reach ahead of you lower the elbow down let it stay here you can reach ahead of you so that there's this long line from the foot into the fingertips if you have the flexibility some people do some don't you can lower down don't force it either way stay in the place where you enjoy it great and plank to chaturanga to up dog to chaturanga to down dog last standing pose take the right leg up and bring your knee into your chest bring your knee across step your foot across to your left turn your hips up and this is a variation of a back bend I do feel it's a little more beginner friendly give it a go skip it if you have to come back to it another time so a little bit of a back bend I like to include twists and back bends in the coffee cups as they're invigorating they wake us up forward bends they <laughs> they calm us down put us to sleep all right great push it back and i'll explain it again take the left leg up bring the knee in bring the knee across step the foot across step the hips up reach up you can reach over the head and just really find your comfortable position here if you're not comfortable here skip it come back in a few months to this pose build your strength great all right we're going to bring the right knee forward for pigeon pose so open the chest look up lengthen and lower down and keep that length Make sure that the hips are level to the ground. 
Your spine is elongated, ribcage away from the hips, elongating here. And just breathe into your hip. You can close the eyes and imagine kind of muddy, it could be smoke or water in the area. And as you exhale, fill it in with crystalline water structure, energy, light. Another exhalation, inhale, crystalline light, great, come up, lift the ribcage again, open the chest, looking like a pigeon, and step it back, opposite side, level the hips. Open the chest, lift the ribcage, keep it lifted, elongate the spine, hold here. Again, breathe into your hip, work with your breath to open up the body, to heal the body, to clean up the body. We hold all the mental and emotional patterns in the physical structure and in the tissue. So when we move into the body, we essentially heal the emotions, the mind, the past, how we perceive our past. Moving into the new earth, new humanity, new consciousness, we have to dissolve all victimhood and be in a place where we are the creators of our destiny and we're not the victim being switched around by everything, by life, by, by events, by the past. But we're here, present, and really able to envision how we want to be in the world. How we connect to Gaia and how we are able to move through the heart, bring cosmic energy into the heart, into the vortex of the heart, and exude love share love with the world, with humanity. <sighs> Beautiful. You can go back to all fours and just move a few times side to side. Move into the spine, into the sides. <sighs> Great. And <sighs> sit back onto your booty. Bend the <laughs> Left knee, flex the right foot, and you're going to bring the right arm up to the left knee and look behind you, lengthen through the crown of the head and just surrender to the twist. We're a vine today, the vining nitro. <laughs> nitro is very smooth. Some people say it's very strong coffee, but I find it smooth compared to hot coffee. So that's why I put the nitro in the beginner schedule. Advanced people can do it on their rest day, on their light day. Beautiful. All right, turn forward, opposite side. Take the left arm to the right knee and look back. Lengthen through the crown and feel your surrender, your muscles surrender to the pose, the structure surrendering the spine beautiful drop the left the right knee out right foot to left thigh and we're going to fold forward you don't have to fold really far you can just hold your shin bone here and experience the stretch the hip is opening and the hamstring on the left is stretching. Breathe. Opposite side. Straighten the back. And lean forward. It doesn't have to be far.
great. And we're going to lay down, you can lay on your side. For the beginners, I recommend to, or a postpartum, to always lay first on the side and then roll back in order to make sure that you are not, you're not rounding the back and popping the belly out and so forth. All right, hug, give yourself a hug, knees in. Drop your feet down and we're gonna drop them to one side, dropping the knees to the right, just kind of feeling the hips letting go, maybe the spine adjusting, the pelvis adjusting, it doesn't have to be far. Just feel the gravity, opposite sides. Letting go into this pose, into the mouth, rather than forcing it. Just let the knees be where they would normally naturally be. soles of the feet together. And you can grab the outer edges of the thighs, the legs, the other thighs. Bring them, bring your feet down for bridge pose, feet parallel to each other. And we're gonna come up, chest towards the chin, stepping onto the outer and inner edges of the feet. Outer shoulders also rolling down, extending the tailbone towards the knees. Great, slowly release and we're gonna do a few pelvic tilts, very important. I like to include them relatively often in the classes. So you're going to engage Malabanda, the pelvic floor or the Kegel muscle, and you're going to, as if you're scooping the lower belly muscles up, as if you're scooping water, you can use visualization. The pelvis is moving here as if you're scooping water. Whatever other visualization works for you, pelvic tilts with the breath, with Mula Banda, and next level with the hands. So reach uh, over your head and drop your shoulders down. That's physical therapy. Pose, and you're going to begin to reach over the head as far down as you can without going too far because this is gonna engage your upper upper belly and now let's hold it a little bit with a stomach vacuum release reach up and one more time If you don't get it, don't worry, come back to it. This is, it's not advanced, but it is specific. It's pretty easy to do. It's very powerful for the most fit person. It is the most powerful move. The shoulder should stay on the floor. And Mula Banda, scooping the belly into a stomach vacuum and a pelvic tilt and reaching over and that really engages everything. One last time. All right, and you can prepare for Shavasana in any way you enjoy Shavasana. You can put your legs up a wall or just lay down. 
or sit in lotus or however you want to enjoy Shavasana or the final relaxation and just stay here bringing your awareness back into the breath to the breath to the body to the sensations that you experience in the present moment and using your breath or the sensation as the anchor into the moment into the present moment which is the anchor into eternity into timelessness we step out from the present into the timelessness of existence And as you pay attention to your breath and to your body, bathe it again with crystalline light, especially if you have areas that feel stuck, stiff, achy, where you don't feel prana or energy moving through circulation. Go into those areas and bathe them with crystalline light as if you're rinsing the body off of the old, with beautiful crystalline light, refreshing the body, healing, repairing, first on energy level, and that expresses itself, manifests itself in the physical. So stay here bathing yourself in the light for as long as you need to. Namaste.